Hello everybody, it's story time and the Christmas story that you'll hear from me today is called The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. You've probably seen it on the TV, very festive song that goes along with this and Raymond Briggs is a good artist as well. So the story starts like this. The snow fell all night long. When James woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. He leapt out of bed and rushed to the window. Outside, the world had turned a brilliant, glistening white. Quickly, he tugged on his clothes and ran downstairs. Don't forget your boots, said Mum. James had never seen so much snow. He played for hours, stamping up and down the garden, and then he started to roll a ball. And it got bigger and bigger. Soon it was so big that it gave James a brilliant idea. He was going to make a snowman. Carefully he built the body and then he rolled another ball for the head. James ran inside and found a tangerine for the nose. Two pieces of coal for eyes and an old green hat and a matching scarf. Last of all, James gave, he, gave his snowman a great big smile. Oh, he was perfect. Time for dinner, Dad called. All evening, James sat by the window so that he could gaze out at his wonderful snowman. He would have stayed there all night, but it was soon time for bed. As he brushed his teeth, James took one last look at his snowman. He snuggled down in bed. I hope he's still there in the morning, he thought, and he drifted off to sleep. In the middle of the night, James woke up and he remembered the snowman. So he crept downstairs and as he looked out at his snowman, the most magical thing happened. I've got to show you this picture. You won't believe it. I think the snowman has come alive. Yes, he has a snowman came to life. I wish that could happen to me, I would love that. James shook the snowman's hand. Come in, he said, I'll show you around. I'm here, whispered James, opening the living room door. And the snowman loved the Christmas tree, but thought the fire was too hot. Oh no, a snowman next to a fire, that's not a good idea. So James took him to the fridge to cool him down. Then they explored the rest of the house and even tiptoed into mum and dad's room. Shh, don't wake them up. And tried on dad's clothes. Have a look at that picture, snowman in your dad's clothes. Hilarious. Perhaps we'd better go back outside, said James. I think the snowman's starting to misbehave. When they reached the garden, the snowman grabbed James's hand and started to run. And he ran faster and faster and faster until... Oh, you have to see this. I think, I think something's going to happen. After all that running, the fast, the fast running is going to... Oh, yes. Oh, a dream come true. Oh, they were flying. And this is where the lovely music reminds me of this. No singing. From all around they were joined by flying snowmen. Together they flew over the city, out to the sea, and on and on. Until at last they landed at the North Pole. The snowman led James through the trees towards a clearing. James couldn't believe his eyes. A large circle of snowmen were gathered, and in the middle there was... There was Father Christmas. Just in time, smiled Father Christmas. The party is about to start. And what a party it was. I wish I was there. James and the snowman danced all night long. Yeah, I had a little boogie woogie. I wonder what the music was like. As the first rays of sunlight appeared over the hills, Father Christmas handed James a parcel. For me, he gasped. It was a soft blue scarf, beautifully decorated with snowmen. Oh, thank you, cried James. He gave Father Christmas a big hug and then it was time to go again. 
James and the snowman, snowman soared into the air and flew towards home. When they arrived, it was nearly morning and time for James to go back to bed. James didn't want to leave his friend, but he knew it was time to say goodbye. With one last look at the snowman, James went inside and upstairs to bed. Happy but exhausted, he fell asleep. Take a last little hug. I wonder if he'll be there in the morning, or maybe he would have melted. In the morning, James's first thought was of the snowman. He jumped out of his bed and raced downstairs past mum and dad and out of the door and into the garden. I wonder where he's going. I suspect he's going to check to see if his snowman is still intact. Maybe he's just a puddle on the grass. Oh, but the snowman had gone. That's the last picture. Was it a dream? Was it real? Did the snowman really take him for a flight overnight? You will know, but what a magical story by Raymond Briggs. Have a lovely Christmas.